And here we go. Hello. You guys are unmuted now. Very nice. Welcome to session four of the War of the Waves. Um, we got some shit to do today. We got the Dienda. The good old Dienda. Uh, let me mute that and we can open rhythm. Get some nice ambience. We are, uh, we're down a couple players today. Uh, Anubis is going to be late and Doc is currently MIA. So hopefully they'll just filter in as time goes on. And um, hopefully everything is all good. How y'all doing today? Doing pretty good? I, I'm doing yeah. pretty good. Because it looks very cool because I chose the white and halfling. And then it looks cool on the thing because I can see your screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone's everyone's vision is good with everything, right? You guys can you I, I believe everything is alright. Yeah. Dark vision sixty feet. Yeah, the lighting in Foundry is really cool. Yeah. The 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 astral lighting is a little bit buggy. Um and oh, it was we forgot art. Oh, alright, let me do that real quickly. Later, later. I I it'll, it'll take me two seconds. I just uh I just need to get the things. No longer are we going to be Santa Claus. We yeah, are. Why was that if your character doesn't have a beard? We are peak. Because I didn't talk to Nan about art soon enough. And it was the best reference. Okay. Uh, I just gotta save it over here. No more Santa. We are, we are the, the hipster Corzu. Whoops. Oh, well, I guess I guess you guys you guys can see it now on stream, cause uh, it showed up here. Um, Pog, 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 Pog. New art, new art, new art. And we Ooh. also got new art for Callan. For Callan, true. Let me go see if I can go find that in the Discord. Ah, there we go. New art, new art, new art, new art. Pog. We need the pogs, we need the claps, we need everything. And then we move that over here, and we go Ooh. make the tokens. While I do that, would someone like to give me a recap of what happened last time? We made it to the Temple of Rorand outside of it. Then we came across a log, and we traveled over the log with different checks. Then we saw some Shahajuin, and Samud sneaked over there, listened on the conversation, but couldn't. Then tried to sneak more and got found. And then combat started, and we failed a lot and needed to invoke help from the gods to succeed. Um. Uh, and then uh, one of the saws when escaped into a hole we couldn't see that far enough down the hole and we took a short rest and now we're about to go into the hole okay that was a pretty good recap some pop quiz time what what god um, how do I want to word this? Who owns this temple? Which temple, to which god is this temple constructed to? Rorin. What is he? Rorin. What's his, what's his domain? Uh, guilt. And uh, regret. He's, uh, yeah, he's like the Grim Reaper, and uh, yeah. his, his domains are uh, overconfidence, flaws, and fears. Pog. There we go. That That's the good stuff. Yeah, uh, Rorin is the, uh, Rorin's the god of uh, flaws, fears, and overconfidence, and he is pretty much portrayed as the stereotypical Grim Reaper. Uh, he's pretty, pretty fucking sick. Clap. Clap and pog. Uh, let me, I'm doing this. I've said guilt both times, and I've been wrong both times, but do I learn? No. Hey man, all of it's available in the World Anvil if you want to go check it out. 
some cool stuff. I, I've, I've read the World Anvil. My memory just is very good. There's a lot on the World Anvil too, though. There's a lot, and it's not even done yet. Yeah. That is true. Okay. We are War of the Waves. We have the full artwork for the players. Kellen. And we update the tile token. Sorry, this is taking me a while. I'm still getting used to this program. I, I would be able to whip out these in Astral in a couple of minutes, but it takes me a little bit to uh, to work this. Uh, bum, 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 mums. Select file, update. And we're gonna send him to the Shadow Realm real quick and pop him back. Same thing with Korzu. Let us move him to the Shadow Realm. And that is what we need. Done. I appreciate that if you write in a different language and we don't, we can't read it, we just can't read it, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, you don't know in what language it is the, if you don't understand the language. It's had such a cool feature. The it's only, such a good feature. The only problem is, is that the, the camera account also doesn't understand what it is. So uh, <laughs> there is it's just a lot of squiggly lines on the uh, on the screen right now. Um, Bob, Bob, players, and I'm doing the token or the full art. We're doing the token for this. Okay, up, update, and we're gonna send Korzu to the Shadow Realm real quick and plop him back in. Plop, plop. We're all good. All right. So we have the music up and to give you a little bit of an ambience as you guys rappel down the center spire of the ziggurat that was formed in the swamp here you guys immediately touch down on wet ground as the mossy the mossy stone that's under this small little puddle of water begins to pool out into the hallway here you notice that the hallway goes left and the hallway goes right or left and then right it's about a couple of inches, it's like an inch or two deep, so it's not that much of a disturbance yet. But you guys sense no movement. It's very quiet. But you do, I need you, I need both of the rangers here to make perception checks for me, please. Ooh. Ranger things. I believe, ranger things. who has their favor, favored enemy as a Sahagwan? That is Shabmud. You roll this with advantage. Nice. Oh, Nat got a crit anyway. Wait. Who needs it? Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, you see footprints of the Sahagwan moving in both directions, but it seems stronger going this way. Hmm. Well, that's not the voice. Um. <laughs> Ugh. Yuck. I hate. I hate getting my Ugh. feet dampened by the by the fucking swampy water. It's the, it's it's uh, over here to the right. There's some sides of footsteps to the left too, but it seems to be stronger on the right of us. I'll go on ahead. Okay, you want to go on ahead? Yeah. Make me a stealth check. If you're trying All to do right. it quietly. But yes. Twenty one. Okay. You begin to move into the area here. Uh, hold on, I need to give, I need to, I need to make the cam account owner of everyone so I can see their vision. Uh... And Augie is moving like in the middle of the group. Okay. Cool, cool. I say it's because I can't see Augie anymore. Yeah, uh, I, I, for this, for this case, I'll probably start moving Agi myself. 
Let me just right. let me just do this real quick because I have to um I have to give the audience observer. Which is the funny the funny thing. Sebastian Observer and who am I missing? Callan Observer. And Sablin? Did, did you move on top of, uh, oh, why can't I see you still? Uh, mm -hmm. uh. Ah, there we go. I just had to move you. Okay. So yeah, you, you see, so down this hallway, you see a, uh, you guys see a door to immediately st straight in front of you, Callum. And you, Sabamud, also see this weird statue of a, uh, of a figure. Can I... So I do you determine what the figure is? Sure, make me a religion check. All right. Well, you can't win them all. Okay, give me one moment. Un momento. Por favor. Okay. And then up. And then we do that because this is a closed door. All right, on a ten, from what from what you see, oh that that uh, is the nope. spell check. I got a three. Okay, um, what you see on a three is a large figure, uh, with this green cloak that kind of drapes down its body, obscuring its face, and in the center, um, its arms are crossed like around its chest, its upper chest. And a large scythe is uh, equipped or grabbed in both hands. And in the center, you see about a six-foot-tall mirror that looks very old. You can see that there is a lot of dust on said mirror. Also, mm. uh, Mums, I don't know if you're muted, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't hear you say anything. I think my mic was muted. Yep. I go up and I uh, just look, go right in front of the mirror, just like look into the mirror. Yuck. You see a whole bunch of green ooze that has kind of seeped out from the statue, and you see two braziers dully lit with green flames. There's also an inscription on the archway up at the top. Also, you guys, you guys can move too if you if you want to. Uh, if you want to. Move. I'm waiting for the all clear. Alright. Mm -hmm. I, I lean down and like hook my finger in the goop and just being the smartest just taste a bit. Okay. Doesn't really taste like anything. Strangely enough. Mm -hmm. Um on the uh like uh, embroidered onto the stone, you see the words Fragile things mirrors are, but what they show could be your worst nightmare. He steps in front of the mirror. Okay. What is your worst nightmare? Um. Hmm. That's uh, the creature. From the backstory, but like an army of them. Okay. You see the visage of Sabmud begin to slowly fade away, as instead you see a whole legion of soldiers... But they look like these weird, warped creatures, almost like demons and devils, as there are hundreds of them in this sort of line. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom save for me, please. Wisdom saving throw. All right. Six. You are overcome by fear, and you are considered frightened of the mirror. Wait, do I get advantage because I'm halfling brave? Uh, I believe so. What does the brave say? Right. You can click the uh, dice okay. and, uh, should, should show you. Brave. Yep. Uh, you can roll this with advantage. Okay. 14. That is still insufficient. 
You are overcome uh. by worry and fear as the uh, as the mirror immediately invokes some visceral uh, like visceral flashback from your past. He just freezes. Okay. The rest of you here, um, specifically you, Corzu, you hear no all clear, but you see Farrell just kind of walk past you and begin walking to where everyone else is. I guess, I guess that means everything's all good to go, eh? Are you all right, Sad Mud? No. No. I'm not sure what happened. He looked into the mirror and now he's not very responsive. I'll put my hand on his shoulder. A tear streams down now. Sad Mud's face. It's all right. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Don't look into that mirror. Take your word for it. Um, of course, roll me yes. your religion check, please. I was gonna ask. You have this with advantage. Okay, not doing you any that favors. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, you just rolled two sixes. That Oof. is how the dice roll sometimes. So, with your clerical knowledge, you know that this is clearly a holy site of Rorin. This is a statue of Rorin, and there's a mirror in here. It's a little bit weird that there is a mirror, but it is often seen as a rite of passage for some clerics of Rorin specifically to look into mirrors of their worst desires. It's like a ritual of some kind. To look into what they fear the most. And it's a rite of passage to overcome this trauma. And in some cases, uh, use it to grow yourself. To progress. Move further. Because Roran isn't a fully evil deity. He allows all alignments um, under, his, under his watch. But um, he's more or less like a... Um, the god of development, like watching people grow, overcome their fears. Also, the negative sides of your personality, like someone's overconfidence and the flaws that they have. So, uh, he's a bit he's, hes a bit of a weirder deity. Not a lot of people follow him, mainly because there's a bad premonition that um, there's this weird perception that he is the god of death, when in reality he's not. So, some weird things. Did did we also see the Sahagwan priest body when we came down? Yes, it was it was uh, it was back here, but I just didn't I didn't put it here. The body's on the the body's on the floor in the entrance chamber, and the the uh, the stone here has been stained by a little bit of blood. That mud wipes the tear from his the tears from his face, and then stares right back at the mirror again. Okay, make me. A wisdom save. You have this with advantage. I forgot to roll the advantage part. Your mic is uh, really staticky. Uh, let me fix that. Twenty-two. That is what you needed. Okay. You managed to scrounge up any courage you have left as you begin to pump yourself up as you're about to look into the mirror and as you look into the mirror the shadows begin to slowly fade away as the mirror itself fades into nothing and instead you see a i will teleport you here because uh you teleport here Find a small treasure room. Find two chests and a hoard of gold. So, uh, 
doesn't pick up the doesn't look in the chest or the pick up the gold. He just kind of waits there for a bit. Okay. On the other side here, you guys see something begin to something strange begin to happen with the uh, with the mirror and the statue. The two braziers here begin to uh, the fire, the dull flames that began to give him a little give the room a little bit of a hazy green ambience begins to slowly um, increase in velocity. The, the flames begin to grow. It almost seem like they'll begin to overtake the braziers. And then the flames begin to get sucked up into the site that forms this statue. It materializes into an actual site and then falls on the floor with a noticeable clang. Clang, 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 clang. I'm going to take a cautious step forward. Okay. Um, can I make a religion or arcana check on the scythe? Sure. Uh, uh, give me an arcana, an arcana check. Okay. Okay, pretty good. The scythe is indeed magical. Um, from your limited uh, religious knowledge, um, Rorin is often depicted as the Grim Reaper in our world. And... This is one of his weapons. He prefers to use a scythe as his main combat weapon. And it appears that Sabmud, overcoming his fear, has turned that energy into a scythe of sorts. Um, it is a it is called the Grim Misfortune. It's a plus one scythe. So it's a, it's actually like a long scythe, not like the uh, not like the ones that farmers use. So it has a ten foot reach, and it is a weapon that can be attuned. Make of that information as you will. Sabud, are you in there? What kind of scythe did you say? It's a it's it's a reach scythe. It's a it has a gotcha. it has an extra five foot reach. Um, can I hear him when he says Sabud? You in there? You hear a distorted Sabud. <laughs> I take like a, a, one of my bolts and I just like try to flip open uh, this chest. Okay. As you flip open this chest, you find the following loot. You find 500 gold pieces, two augmented lesser healing potions, a red attribute gem, Four additional multicolored gems, each worth about 200 gold pieces. And the big one, or the big two items, you find a pouch of revivification, revivification dust and a cloak of the manatee. Nice. Do I know that those are that those items are those items? Yes. Revivification dust is really important because in this world, diamonds are a rarity. So instead, spellcasters use diamond dust or they use alternative magical stones and grind them down to this purified dust. And it's very valuable. And a cloak of the manatee, make me an arcana check for that. All right. Seventeen. The, the cloak of the manatee um is one attunement point upon being attuned to the cloak you gain the ability to breathe underwater for an hour without having to come up for air additionally your melee strikes have advantage while you are underwater then i uh take my crossbow bolt and flip open the, the lid of this chest yep do you find similar you find similar items this is the loot for all three of the the piles all together. Oh, okay. Hmm. I take the cloak of the manatee. Okay. And I take uh, the gems, except for the revival. And I don't, I don't take the revival stuff. Okay. The revivification dust. Yes. And I just say, hey, can you take me back now? 
Okay. You walk through the mirror and are teleported back. Barl, you, you were looking into the mirror and you see Sabmud's face immediately appear in front of you. What's up? Uh, where did you go? Atlantis, treasure room. Hmm, well, whatever you did, it seems to have turned the statue's scythe into a real one. It's yours if you want it. And he'll gesture towards the scythe on the ground. Is the scythe heavy? Uh, no, you could use it. It's technically a, right. it's technically a finesse weapon. It's also, oh, no. it's also a martial weapon. Alright. And I know you guys were talking about it in chat anyway, but uh, since it's an attuned weapon, if you, if you attune to it, you automatically become uh, proficient in it. Someone pinged me. Alright, so what does this type do? Alright. You have to take an hour to attune to it. Eh. As well as yeah. uh, attuning to the cloak will also take an hour as well. Mm. So, yeah. Found a cloak in there. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I also found some revivification dust, but... I believe they're dead. Stay dead, so I didn't take it. Cores with that immediately, um, that immediately sends you some signals, because revivification dust as a uh, as a cleric, you know that that stuff is very rare and very important. Uh, that's rare. Ah, you don't see that every day. Well, I saw it today. How much? Eh, yeah. an amount. DM? One pouch. Oh, were, you, say, were, were you saying that in character? In person? In, in character. Oh. No, not, not really. Do you want me to hmm. try and go back and get it if I can? I would recommend it. <laughs> All right. I try to walk back through. All right. Mirror. I'm not one to defile the dead, but if it's useful, well, we may need it soon. You go back into the mirror, pick up, pick up the, uh, pick up the revivification dust, and begin making your way back. There's also like a lot of gold in there. Uh, here, you right, guys want gold? Perhaps on the way out. All right. Uh, thank you, Asher. Let me use the scythe. You guys figure out what these th what these thingies are. Well, I'm not one really to use scythes, so of course, through the good graces of my heart, I would let you take it anyway. Okay. Whatever. Wow, green flames. Wow. Well, I guess if you insist, I'll take a look at the green flames. Oh. <laughs> of, of course I'd know what these are. These are flames of, uh, uh, they're just green flames. It seems they, uh, they draw forth from your emotion. Your fears, your character shortcomings, I don't really know. Mm. What did you see in the mirror? Death and destruction. I didn't see anything because I'm perfect. Hey, wanna look in the mirror real quick for me? Huh. I'm perfect. It won't see anything. Then prove it. Okay. Sebastian He has a he has a hard poker face. 
but you do see his perfect facade begin to crack as uh, whatever he saw in the mirror wasn't really that good. See, I told you. I told you I'm perfect. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Anyways, we should probably move on, right? Don't want to linger too long. Yes, let's get away from this mirror. No need for unnecessary duress. I'm in agreement. Okay. Sabud, Kalen, do you want to take the lead or should I? Uh, how good are you hiding? Well, not very, considering I'm wearing this chain. Alright, uh, hey, Callan, you want to take the lead this time, or should I? I'm not the best at hiding, but I can. Uh, uh, alright then, you can go ahead. How? How can you see that? How can you see that? That shouldn't be possible. Sadness. Okay. Going down the steps, you see that the water begins to get deeper. Uh, around this point here, you see the water begin to overtake the steps and begin to form a small lake inside this temple. It's probably up to the point where it's above your neck. Sadman. All right. Also, okay, so bad. an eight, pretty good. You stealthily right. move, you stealthily move down and into the water. You see a hallway going forward and a hallway going to your immediate right. Sabmon, you're pretty much fully swimming at this point. Uh, hard to hide when you're swimming, right? Hmm? Yes. Hard to, hard. All too. It's a little bit harder to self. Alright. Hey, Sebastian. I think we should go to the right first. <laughs> wait, wait. You and your head. Oh, yeah, I can talk like this. Uh, yeah, let's go to the right. Okay. Begin to make your way to the right. Surprisingly, there seems to be no Sahagwin. It seems like the area is all quiet. At this point, you see more steps. And it begins to get to the point where even you might have to begin to swim underwater to get to, uh, to get down to the point where this hallway leads. I will say I am trying the stealth, but probably doing a bad job. Doing probably. a bad job. Swimming, I uh, a three. swimming, swimming is hard for someone with heavy armor. Okay. Colin, you take, you begin to take the steps into the yeah. underwater portion. You're a little bit uncomfortable as your, as your fur is getting all wet. It's an uncomfortable feeling, but you're used to it. And I forgot about Augie. Don't worry, he's just he's just gonna phase through like five walls. Oh, I thought Augie would be trying to be in the middle area. I've always been here. Always. Okay, let me see. Let me see what that is. Um Big players. Okay, save and return. Pog, pog. Alrighty. As you guys begin to move and swim under the water, I need you to make a, an athletics check. See how well you can swim. Oh. 
Do I also, since I already have a swimming speed? Uh, you do not. Right. You pretty much outpace him. It it appears that there's water ahead, guys. Well, deeper water. Hmm. You have eyes. It's I I think so. Hello. Hey. Hey guys. What's hey. up? I'm so sorry. You're all good. It happens. Is this yeah. uh is this gonna be a normal thing? Or is oh. it just this week? Yeah, um probably be a normal thing. Okay. Like my work schedule. No worries. Well, uh. or lack thereof. That's kind of the issue. <laughs> yeah, I understand. We'll talk about it after. No worries. Yeah. Pretty much, uh, the party has been exploring this, uh, has been exploring this crypt here. They went through, they went through a holy shrine, got some loot, and are now beginning to go into this deeper portion where they actually have to begin to swim underwater. We're under our water right now? Uh, you are currently in three feet of water, so you're wading, wading through for some of you at chest level. Alright. Oh, oh god. Okay. Also, you looked into a mirror and saw your deepest fear. Yep. Ooh. Okay, you guys can keep swimming. Stop here. Um, what are your guys' con mods, uh, both of you? Callan Ooh. and Sabmud. Uh, zero. Wait, no, one. One. Two. Is that three minutes of reading for me? Friends. Okay. Friends. Um, you said it was it was one and two. All right. Yeah. So you can breathe underwater for about a minute. You can breathe underwater for three minutes, two minute, two minutes and three minutes. It is it is one right. plus your con mod. So you're pretty much you're pretty much good to keep going. Um, you you will eventually catch up with Talon because you have a natural swim speed. All right. All right. Stop here. As you see a couple of creatures in here that are very familiar. I'm going to roll I'm going to roll perception for this guy. He doesn't see you. You hear in your head helm. We should go. Now. Now, now, now. 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 Okay. The two of you see this Sahagwin here. You hear in your head, Kellen? We should go back. He's just not going to say anything and nod. Alrighty. You guys make your way back and begin to get up to the steps and re-emerge re -emerge from the surface or from underwater. Alright. What's over there? Uh, I saw it. I saw it. I, I feel like... Okay. But this cloak that I found can make us... Make one of us pretty good in the water. Uh, I feel like one of us had uh, take like an our break again just to like so one of us can attune to it i maybe yeah, corsley seems to be a pretty good swimmer and i know i am so if like me and him are pretty good and don't really need more help in the water but the one of, one of the rest of the Well, I can swim just fine, but it might help me take the charge if we find more of those fish people. Callum, you want it? Uh, no, I think we should give it 
to a uh, parole. Let's head back in. Is everyone cool with that? Whatever gets us out of this water, please. Well, we're going to be going further into the water, but you'll be momentarily out of the water. <laughs> Let's. Can we please move? We should press forward. We've only just begun, and there's no time to rest. There's no telling how many more of them are. I here. agree. Let's go. And I will right, move forward. Alrighty. Let me uh, let me just make him. I need. Um, what is your com mod, Korzu? Uh, three. So four okay, minutes. you can breathe four minutes. Um, Lavalin, I think is a minute. Your con is plus two, Sebastian. Yes. Three minutes, and Faro, I believe you also have uh, a plus three, right? Yep, same as Corsi. Four minutes. Cool, cool. Let me, uh, let me make, let me make uh, Falcon his scythe first. It will take me like two minutes. Maybe. I could be lying. All right, scroll all the way down. That's the wrong, that's the wrong goddamn thing. What the hell? Whack. Whack. Okay. That's not right. This is right. Move over. Details. It is a... Seb, why don't you go ahead? I'll hold the rear in case anything tries to sneak up on us. All right. Why try to skeet past? <laughs> Your main stat is dex, right, Seb? Uh, my main stat is indeed dex. Is, is this the plunge here? Yeah, at this third step. That's when you that's when you actually have to begin diving to go underwater. Oh, God be damned. And then... <gasps> slashing. Sploosh. Melee weapon attack, activation cost, one action. I believe this is all good. Yeah. Oh, and then they have to make a DC four, DC fourteen wisdom save. Or else frightened. Cool. Let's see. There we go. That's some sick shit. Attuned, and you are equipped. All right, there you go. All good. All right. Agi, Agi. Begins moving up as does Lavalin. Have submerged. Alrighty. I can use it like a regular siphon until before I attune to it, right? Uh, you cannot use it yet. You have to attune to it first. Alright, cool. Callan, that Sahagwin has moved. I can now. I can now. Blah. You should go. Saying anything, or is it just making noises? Why the fuck did you steal my rations? Shut up! Fuck you! You shouldn't have steal his rations, buddy. I did what I had to do. Shut up! Sad Mud would like to try to take some of his rest. I realized we were under the water and this could not pan out. Might not pan out. We just have to take his license and throw it behind to make it seem like he is. It's like, like the rations fell out from behind him. Okay. Hmm. 
that probably wouldn't work because you guys are underwater. Throwing it would right. would make it so that it would have float it would float over there. Okay. Eleven. Those guys is saying, saying, count said. So do you want to get the first uh, attack off, or you, you you go and get the first attack off? You do it. Okay. Then he's gonna shoot it that. That. Okay. That one. Um. Make me a uh, an attack at disadvantage. So I believe it is control click for disadvantage. But is it at uh, normal because does he get advantage from not being from being seen? Uh, yes. So it would just be a normal die roll. That is true. Hey. Ugh. Seven. As you knock a bow, you still have to adjust firing from underwater, but you fire. And the arrow slowly drifts away and hits this blue coral thing right here. This Sahagwin immediately turns. Ah! Ikaladuli! Ishallah! We're under attack! Alrighty, and I need you all to roll initiative for me. So go to your character sheet, and initiative is right next to your armor class. You have to change it to combat. Oh, wait. Yeah, combat, please. It's it's already rolled. I I I, I got you, but you will begin. But uh, need you all to roll initiative. Um, do, do I roll again? No. Uh, you get initiative. Do you get advantage? Oh well, no, cause like it, you didn't start. This. Yeah, we. Oh we no don't no no. See it. Um. Oh uh yeah, you don't you don't see it because it goes. It, it's kind of like a hidden initiative. You don't know oh. until it's your turn. But I, I know, I know from over here though. Yeah, we, we had that thing on, we had that problem yesterday because uh, it was a little confusing. It's better that way though. Where is the initiative roll? Sorry. It is right in between your armor class and the uh, and strength. Oh, intense. Okay, let me roll for Lavalin. And we need Farl. And we'll be He's good. out. Oh. He lost internet. <laughs> oh, he lost internet? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, there he goes. Yeah, I stopped him. Okay. Uh, so I'd be back soon. Technically, uh, it starts out as Farl's turn because uh, he rolled higher in the initiative. So. Farl's going to he's he doesn't have moves movement speed so he's cut in half. Movement speed is thirty five. Cut in half is twenty. He said I charge in with battle axe dash if I okay. can't reach. One, two, three, four. Action dash. One, two, three, four. All right. It's the wave scout's turn. Ah, damn water breathers. As this guy is going to throw a harpoon at Farl. Or attempt to. That will miss. As he goes to throw it, he completely whiffs. Um, welcome back. Sabmud, it's your turn. Uh, he just... Oh, he's back. Well, yeah. Oh, wow. So that's like so cool looking. Yeah, you get a cool little get a cool little thingy. Yeah. All right. All right. So let me tell you how underwater co underwater combat works. So, um, if you do not have a swim speed, technically uh, you are under the effects of difficult terrain, whereas your movement speed is essentially half. However, if you have a swim speed, you're not impacted by this. Um, when you make a melee weapon attack, the creature. Uh, a creature that doesn't have a swimming speed, either natural or granted by magic, has disadvantage on attack rolls unless the weapon is a dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, or trident. 
and a ranged weapon attack automatically misses if it goes over the range and has disadvantage at normal and you have resistance to fire damage if you're submerged rapier is not one of those listed right nope ah uh, um. But since I have a swim speed, I can... But since you have a swim speed, it is a normal attack. Alright, well then... I... Just move... Twenty-five. Okay. Thirty feet. And I just stab at this guy right here. Alrighty, roll the hit. You have to, uh, you have to hit the, yeah, there you go. That's a good hit. And, uh, roll me the 1d8 up at the top. For me. Alrighty, that is 6 plus your, that is 10 points of damage. Good hit, good hit. As you hit the Sahagwin wave, wa ra wave strider across the chest, you pierce into its chest as this, uh, greenish ichor begins to bleed out of its body. As you swim under... What appears to be beds and weird bits and pieces of coral. It's a bit weird, but you've seen weirder. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait. Uh, Augie. Oh. Yeah. What do you want Augie to do? Where is Augie? I cannot see him. He's right behind Callum. Uh, there you go. So then... He uses his dash to get right, he right here. Okay. No, right, yeah, right, right there. Alrighty, he dashes up. At his turn. Okay. I just want to see what your armor does. All right, it is Lavalin's turn. Lavalin ponders how he got into this situation. His movement speed is 30, so he has three feet of movement. One, two, three. He can see this guy just barely. And he's going to make an attack with his... Uh... With his Firebolt spell, even though it's at resistance. That's the only cantrip he has. He misses anyway. As a uh, bolt of fire emanates, it's a lot weaker than it was above ground. As he fires it at the Sahagwin, the Sahagwin just ducks out of the way as the flames fizzle out. A uh, question, are we still having to watch for verbal components? That is a very good point. Um, if it has somatic or material components, you can still use it, but if it has verbal... Uh, you, I don't think you can use it underwater. I do not believe so. However, that is the end of Lavalin's turn. Callan, your turn. Sebastian, you're up next. Oh, yeah. of course, you didn't roll initiative. Okay, uh, we'll have you. We'll have you after Colin because you pretty much rolled the same roll. I thought I did. So, no matter what I do, it's basically going to be at a disadvantage, right? Yes. Oh, okay. You also have a swim speed. Interesting. Can I get a shot on this guy? You can. Uh, what is the range? Your short bow has an 80 foot range, right? It's a long bow. Yeah, then you definitely hit. Make the attack at a advantage, uh, disadvantage for me. I keep um, are you clicking it on the character sheet or the no. macro? 
That's the macro. All right, go to the inventory and yeah. undo. All right, ten will ten will miss. However, as you're still getting used to firing underwater, you knock an arrow and fire, but it misses. Uh, let me turn down the music just a tad. I don't know if it's louder than me on stream. Okay. Is it the end of your turn? Yeah. Alrighty. Korzu, it's your turn. I will move. Also, you're wearing heavy armor. You're having a difficult time. Yep. But you have a swim speed, so your armor is specially fit to uh, swim underwater. Come right here, and I will attack with my mace. Alrighty. Roll the hit. That'll miss. As you hit the uh, as you hit the Sahu again in the armor, it just kind of laughs at your pitiful attempt. Alrighty. You doing anything else? Nope. Alrighty. Sebastian, it's your turn. Alright. Sebastian swims around the corner, completely unaware about what's around the corner. Mm -hmm. You turn around the corner and see everyone in a little bit of combat, but you can't see exactly what it is. I'll dash. One, two, three. Uh, you can move an extra space. Diagonals don't count as extra. Oh, all right. You can, you now get a full picture of what's going on. Oh shit. More of these scaly fish fucks. That's not good. Covers his mouth so as not to blow out the air from the sudden mm -hmm. fright of situation. It's a hog one. Yeah, in my turn. All right, it's the wave strider's turn. I'm gonna fuck you up. As he's going to take an action to swipe at Korzu. Miss. Unlike, unlike my buddy, I'll actually hit as he goes to stab the bear. Oh. That will hit for seven points uh. of damage. And that is the end of their turn. Back up to the top of the order. Barl, it's your turn. I'm going to swing at the damaged one. Alrighty, make an attack at disadvantage for me. That will still hit for 10... Oh, you, you need the roll again. That's not disadvantage. Yep. That's not the one. 13 will miss. As you go to slam down with your battle axe, uh, the Sahagwin quickly swims out of the way. All right, that'll be it. Alrighty. It's the Wave Scout's turn. This one is going to pull out its short bow and make an attack at Farl. Miss. Completely whiffs its shot. Sub one. It's your turn. Uh, you. I just... Sorry, go on. Uh, that is okay. Okay, so uh, on your character sheet, go to your inventory, or yes. specific specifically go to attributes, and you'll see that your rapier and your grim misfortune are there. Uh, hover over the rapier icon and hit the die. It'll roll just the attack. There we go. That's what we're talking about for nine points of damage. You manage to find a, a weak point in his armor as you pierce him through the back of the uh, through the back of the neck, dealing a decent bit of damage. However, your enemy doesn't falter. Don't you love it when you get a crit and one of your rolls is alone? The best. And I need this. 
bites at this guy. All right. Uh, Augie's going to do the bite. The bite will miss. Mm. Technically, it's at disadvantage for him. But we rolled it then. Let me just see. Yeah. Yes. Alrighty, is that the end of your guys' turn? Also, never mind. Ah, uh, dang it. The doggy just lo- Ah, uh, crap. The doggy just lose some of his breath. Uh... We, we can say it's a claw attack. Alright. Because it, it misses anyway. Do you want- Do you guys yeah. want to move? Uh, so I'm like, oh yeah. Moving is a thing you can do, do in the game. Did we not loop? Right. I guess we didn't loop. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let me move for a minute there. Turn. Uh, trying to come to focus. I just move here. Okay. All right. I don't know if I told you guys this last session, but I have an optional rule that's called swarming. If you get up to five people surrounding a creature, all attacks will be made at advantage. I think, then, I think uh, I did tell you guys, but I just wanted to make sure. Oh. And I use Halfling Nimbleness to move through this guy. Alrighty. And take the... Okay. He's going to get an AOP on you. Yeah. Does that hit? No. Misses. He tries to cleave you in the back of the neck. However, you swiftly dodge out of the way. Yeah, Augie. Moves right here. Alrighty. My turn. Cool, cool. It's now Lavalin's turn. Oh, jeez. One, two, three. Firebolt! As he goes to cast a firebolt at, uh, at Mr. Sahagwin. Because it's the only attacking cantrip he has. You'll miss. Good job, Lavi. That'll be the end of his turn. Gorzu, you're up. I cast the favorite spell as a spellcaster. Punch. Okay. Your punch will miss. Well, I'm done. Callum, it's your turn. Seventeen will hit for six points of damage. As you get a good as you get a good clean hit on him. He falls to one knee, covered in his own blood. And uh, that'll be the last of my end of my turn. Alright. Sebastian, it's your turn. Um Sebastian will oh. Um, you said that um ranged attacks have disadvantage like even ranged spell attacks uh yes um actually wait hold on because it says a ranged weapon attack automatically misses a target beyond the weapon's normal range even if the creature has normal range the attack has uh the attack has advantage unless the weapon is a crossbow a net or a weapon that is thrown like a javelin oh crossbow is fine Okay, so that, that works for stab mud. But, um, well, I believe that... Does that apply to spells? Nah. I, I, know, I know spell attacks in, like, range spell yeah, attacks it says range weapon attacks. Yeah, it, it, says, it says weapon. So we're going to rule that it says that it's a weapon attack. So your spells are still fine. It's oh. just be careful of the verbal component, which yep. I do want right. to bring up. Uh, Fireball does have verbal. But it also it has semantic. Uh, so you can... Uh, in, in this situation, I'll let you choose either one. Well, 
well, so that means I can't use Mind Sliver. Alright, so I'll swim up to this guy and cast the Booming Blade. Alrighty, casting the Boomer Blade. <laughs> boomer Blade. The Blade of the Boomer. Mm hmm. Alrighty, you, you uh, hit with Rune Saber. Rune Saber doesn't have disadvantage because it's technically a short sword. Actually, wait. I, I thought it was a rapier. Oh, right. it's a rapier? Then yeah, it has disadvantage. Yeah. Wait, okay. Did I? Hold on. Okay. And then... Okay, that misses. Um, booming blade, and that is uh, lightning damage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, thunder. I just I just added thunder. a thunder. Oh, I don't. Does it have a thunder? Or does it have a? Yeah, yeah th thunder. Thunder damage is like sound damage, basically. Oh, I see. I find that confusing that there's two different types. Yeah. So you go to hit. Uh, the Sahagun quickly ducks out of the way, the lithe creature that it is. And uh, your attack misses. Swing to miss. Sahagun's turn. Oh, wait. I'll, ca I'll use my bonus action to activate Blade Song. Okay. Oh. Alrighty, you are Blade Songed up. Let me give you a thing for that. You are empowered by Bladesome. Seeing you powering up, he's going to do the same, and he's going to uh, use Action Surge to attack you twice. Short Sword. Harpoon. Both miss. Two swipes. Both of those miss. Uh, he's going to attack Feral, and then Action Surge cast attack at Sobmund. First one feral, second one Sabmund. Alrighty, does a 17 Ow. hit you, feral? Nope. Clashes against your shield uh, as a little bit of shrapnel and debris fly off into the uh, fly off into the top of the room. Sabmud, however, gets nicked for eight points of damage. A devastating hit. Sabmud's a little shaken up from what he from what he saw earlier. Alrighty, that is the end of their turn. Top of the initiative. Farl, your go. Alright. Attack this guy. Which one? Uh, the damaged one. Oh, okay. I don't miss. Attack cleaves and misses. I'm gonna fucking kill that bear. That hits. Four points of damage. Shit. I didn't kill the bear. End of their turn. Stop. Here you go. Alright. Well. I okay. if yeah okay if so you... I'm gonna take the opportunity attack swimming through these two okay oh well I just realized something miss all right and then I stab it. Okay. Roll the hit. Advantage. Unfortunate. Really helpful. Oh. You miss as your pierce yeah, uh, fails to hit him. Agi will bite attack. Claw attack. 
Double hit. Double hit for four points of damage. It's wouldn't it be straight at that point because we're underwater? True. Um. Augie does. Augie does not have a swim speed. Hmm. I'll still let it hit. A pity. As the as the creature falls and begins to float up to the up to the ceiling of the room. Oh, Ep, I just realized something. Yeah. Oh, uh, with Blade Song active, I only have fourteen AC, and that guy killed me. He killed you. I'm down. Yes. You only have fourteen AC. I thought you had a high AC. No. Wait. With, Blade, with only Blade Song active, I only have fourteen. With blade song and um shield, with blade mage song armor and major oh. armor. Oh, he's like nineteen. Yeah. But otherwise, oh. do you want to shield up? I'll let mm -hmm. you shield as a reaction. Um, all right, I'll, I'll block one. Oh, oh, wait. You block yeah, both of I'll them because they're the okay, same. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll you shield. you shield up and block both okay. attacks. Isn't mage armor eight hours though? I, I never cast it. Oh. Alrighty, that is the end of the waves. Uh, that's the is that the end of your turn, Sabon? Uh, uh, this this one here is gonna set and it's one. And now the bear is gonna kill you. Okay. Oh wait, shield has a verbal component. Is it just verbal? Oh no, it's it's okay. it's thematic. You can use both. You can use thematic okay. as well. You are saved. <laughs> Luckily. Um... Wait, no, it's not 14, it's 16. Crap, because of my decks. I knew that was end of turn. Yeah. I knew you had a you had a pretty high AC with Bladesong, I thought. Yeah, your AC, your AC is 16 with Bladesong. Yeah, they still would have hit, but... Well, shield it's oh fine. yeah he hit I, I was i was just under the assumption he had mage armor on but all right all good um that's the end of sabon's turn lavalin's turn eh, eh. fireball pew miss come on lobby what are you doing buddy of course it's your turn is this guy that's uh, surrounded, uh, this one, is he dead? He's dead. Well, now that I'm frustrated with my mace, I'm going to try and chill touch this guy right beside me. Okay. Uh, that has disadvantage because you're adjacent to him. It, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, misses. Alrighty, you want to yeah, move in? That's it. <laughs> if you move uh, in, you can. If you move in, you could swarm them. Eventually, with some effort. Sure. Alrighty. Colin, it's your turn. Sixteen will hit. It cleaves him for eight points of damage. All right. And uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Alrighty. Seb. All right. Are we swarming one, two, three, four? Yeah, one more. One more needed to swarm. Okay. If you go up there, yeah, it's a swarm. You go here. Wait. It's not letting me move. Oh. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll whack, I'll whack him with booming blade. Yep, it's a straight roll. Oh, good shit. Oh. Um, that thunder That's damage is really doubled. Good. That thunder damage is doubled because these guys are underwater yeah. and susceptible it, to damage. The, the thunder damage only procs if he moves oh i got you so he takes 12 points of damage 
Good shit. We love crits. And I believe that is the end of my turn. Let's see. Eh. 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 He takes the damage. Nah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> they are not smart. Emp, your games are really unforgiving. Yeah, <laughs> sure, buddy. All right. Uh, top of the order. Barl, here go. Um, will you give me a list of the weapons that don't have disadvantage under uh, underwater yep. again? Uh, it is um, dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, or trident. Okay. Um, can I pick up one of the short swords that the dead guys dropped? Indeed, you can. Okay. Let me add that to your uh, character sheet I... real quick. That is smart. Okay. Uh, add short sword. And you use dex, so let me make that your, your ability mod. Or you use strength. Cool, cool. It's all there. All right, uh, and it's just uh, an item interaction to pick it up? Yes. Okay. I will move. That's one, two, three. And then I will uh, swing at it with short sword. Alrighty. That will hit for six points of damage. As you cleave across its body, it gives that a, uh, a scream in Sahagwan. Sabmo, do you hear him say, fuck you, bitch? Alright, that's it for me. I'm gonna run. One, two, three, four, five, six. However, he's not smart, as both of you get attacks of opportunity. Miss. Yours hit for nine points of damage. He falls to one knee. A, almost a float in the air, almost a float in the water as you get a nice slash at his leg. Sad bun. It's your turn. We just lost him. Oh. Sad bun's gonna make things simple and miss. Good shit, Sab. Simply miss. Miss. Good, Sab. Um, so Sab mode. I just did your turn. <laughs> but uh, I'll let you roll. Hopefully you can kill him. Unlike me. Cannot. You back? All right. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear. It's all good. Uh, so no, Sama does not do that. He moves on the other side of the shot one. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty. Right here. I think you rolled the same roll I did. Yep. Other, uh, except the damage is lower. All right. I, as, as, as you go to pierce him with your rapier, he whiffs. As he's looking at you with evil eyes. Mm. And the dog, you already moved? Yep, he did. And he attacked as well. Uh, okay. Alrighty, is it the end of your turn? Yep. Maybe I won't miss this time. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Ooh, he hit oh. for for three points of damage. 
as a bolt of fire comes from uh, Lavalin's, Lavalin's hands. It hits the Sahagwin in the back, singeing its back despite being underwater. Because that's how cool he is. Korzu, your turn. I'm going to chill touch him. All right. That will hit for five points of damage as you send out a ghastly visage of your hand and it simply goes into his head as you watch his head begin to bleed from his ears. As he's dead. I start dragging bodies. <laughs> okay. I start checking the room. I'm gonna use oh. shape water to make it easier to check and check as well. Okay. Alrighty. Combat is over. Sebastian's gonna get the hell out of here. Alright. Hey, for once, combat didn't go horribly wrong for us. Yeah. Yeah. So, we saw we were. From what you guys see in this room through your vision, you see many different beds that scatter across this room. You think it's, um. You think this was a. a a place where the clerics of Rorin must have lived at one point. Uh, there are beds. Let me end combat. Uh, cool. Uh, time has also not really been nice to this building. As you see, there's a large... Uh, this room is there's a large crack that begins to form. And in there, you see seaweed has begun to sprout and begin to build itself up. Wherever the Sahagwin seem to move, it seems like water is quick to follow. As you see, sea life begin to also form in the mossy rooms of this temple. You see some blue coral, some red, also some other coral right by Lavalin. Can I identify the usage of those? Of those? Oh, I'm sorry, of, of the coral and... Sure, give me a nature check. Fifteen. You know that coral um, doesn't really have a purpose other than dye making. There's a big city up north that you know that has a lot of coral in its in its uh, in its bay, and it makes a lot of money off of the dye there alone. So it doesn't really have any gameplay benefits or other like character benefits other than the fact that if you compress it. And take out the uh, take out the color. You can make some pretty nice and vibrant dye. And the other awesome. beds here seem to be in a very bad shape. Also, I want to say Salmon does not know about its about the city in the north. Okay, you just know that dye can. You just know that coral can make you some really nice dye if you uh, crush it up enough. Okay. Lavlin also begins to make the steps to swim back up. Oh. I'm <laughs> dragging one of the bodies with me. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll help him. I'll drag another one because we need their heads. There should be three. Alrighty, you begin to gr you begin you begin to drag the Sahagwans. You collect three bodies so far. Uh, let me write that down. As Sebastian breaches the surface, he cast press the digitation on himself. Well, his upper half, I guess. Okay. Oh, that was positively dreadful. There's nothing like a good swim. I can name ten things better than a good swim. Looks like heal. looks like we're gonna be doing more swimming. Air quotes. The other the other hallway seems to be underwater as well. How oh, terrific! What is it that we're getting paid for? Their eyes. Uh, every head and every eye. Or. Head or eye. 
Oh, head or eye. I now double check and see. Okay. Where do you guys wish to go from here? Where do we want to keep the bodies? Let's to store, basically. Yeah, let's. You guys can talk about that. Perhaps uh, over by the braziers. It's dry over there. Well, yeah. we just keep the eyes and don't keep the entire bodies. It was more so so we could pile them up. Yeah, but we don't want to take their eyes out until we're leaving at the least, probably. That's what I was thinking. Eh. Let's I keep them by I the statue. I agree with over by the, like, braziers, though. We're coming back there for the gold anyways, right? That is very true. And factual. I think taking the eyes is a safe a bit. Wait. Let's hassle. I don't know why. It, okay. I agree. No, I'm not going anywhere near those creatures. So, you do it. You know, shuffle past. Okay. You shuffle past and you see another hallway going down this way. You throw the Sahagwan bodies down here. They flop like literal fish onto the floor. They have that little quick reaction where they begin flopping where you think they're alive. And then after a second, they just simply stop moving. I'm going to say that we have the priest body over here as well. Okay. Yeah. Or I go and I move it. Alrighty. How many Sahagwan did you fight last session? Like six? According to the notes I had, it says nine, but I think you misspoke, and I think it was six. Because it was three and three, so six, and then plus the priest would have been seven. Seven, so 14 heads in total. Y'all are gonna be rich. Rich. Yeah, some peaks around the corner. All right. So are we taking the eyes, or are we going to come back for them later? We're gonna come back for them later. Let's press on. Oh, jeez. Do I see? How you doing? How, how you doing, no man? I'm here. <laughs> could be better, could be worse. You're not using your text tool. That shows that you're talking. You are mute. Because I don't remember that. <laughs> you should always remember to use your text tool using the T key. And the pointing tool using the Y key. It's important. Yes, it's... but my push to talk, talk is my control key, so it's awkward. It's a surprise tool we'll use for later. Probably. All right. So you look down the corner. You see nothing but another hallway. And an opening here and an opening here. All right. Sebastian. Slowly... Tiptoes around the corner. Perception check. Oh. oh, you don't hear anything. However, Colin, you see something. You see as a hogwin. Simply just minding his own business. He's not looking at you. I'm gonna, like, hold my hand out for them to stop. Sebastian unsheaths his blade. Lee. 
And then I'm gonna listen and see if how if there's like I can see how many there are. Make me a perception check. You hear no more than six, no less than two. Also, it doesn't appear that this area is underwater. It appears that it's it, it gets a little bit deeper here, but not enough that it would make a difference. Like maybe another foot. So maybe for Safmud and for Korzu, they might have to start swimming actually, but for them, they should be fine because they both have swim speeds. I'm gonna whisper to them, uh, there's between like two and six in this room. Between two so, and six. So we go in quietly? Well, but of course. It doesn't look like it's too deep in there, though. This will go well. I'll make it always does. I make a perception check. A perception check. I think I hear something. Wait, do we hear him say that? I think I hear. He says, Yes, Chill touch. Well, as as Alrighty. As chill touch with advantage. Cast mage armor. Okay. You cast mage armor on yourself. Give me chill touch with advantage. And I just. Because you guys are ambushing. You guys are ambushing. You get one. You get one action. For the ambush. All right. Uh, Twenty to hit, one damage. For one point of damage, um, that hits him. That one action each or one action for one per. One action in total. Oh. All right, combat has started again. As you, as you, as he is hit with a necrotic ray, you hear him shout to his companions, "We have land dwellers here." All right, and I need initiative from all of you. Absolutely grim. Decent. And... Okay. Hey, DM, you see what I rolled? Can I announce it? Yes. I rolled a zero. Hmm. Well... What the fuck is with Lavalin and rolling well? All right, combat has started. Farrell, you're up first. All right. Well, even though I miss all my attacks in combat, I roll pretty hard for initiative. Uh, I this this is regular movement, right? I don't have to yes. swim. Nope, regular movement. Okay. And I will walk straight up and go down one, so I can get a better glimpse into the room. Okay. And um. I don't have disadvantage, right? Nope. On attacks? You, you have a regular attack. All right. Then I'm going to use my battle axe instead of the short sword. All righty. Uh, hold one moment as I do that. And pop. Okay. That will miss, unfortunately. All right. And that'll be it. Cool. Cool, Leo. Lavalin's turn. He also gets really high initiatives. One. Two. He goes over the short gnome's body and fires a firebolt at him. Not at the gnome. At the side one. Misses. Lavlin's killing it. Man, what, what the fuck's with this luck, guys? Come on. One, two, three. This guy's gonna take a shot at Quarrel. That will miss. I, I don't know what I, this party and, and me I, I think we're all cursed guys I think we're all cursed we tried changing the what we were playing on it didn't work I will also miss what the fuck's going on this party is cursed hey I rolled a 20 sob mode it's your turn Nan don't talk don't say that <laughs> we're not the curse of the waves we're in the curse of the waves campaign let's fucking go all right, Todd, it's your turn. Okay. You're the yes. So I move 
right here so I can see better. Mm-hmm. You but can see the you can see the tsunami click. No, 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 no. This is uh, this is this is still regular movement speed. It's when you it's when you enter this room here is when you begin to actually start swimming for the shorter people. Dang it. Uh, yeah. I take out my crossbow and I shoot him. All right. Uh, which one? The tsunami cleric or the uh, the. The wave scout. I can only see one. Oh. Oh 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 oh! The guy oh, in front nice. of the guy in front of you. Okay. I, I thought you could. I thought you could yeah. see, but I guess you couldn't. Oh, you're too nope. sharp of an angle. Okay, roll the hit. That will miss. Where do you want Augie to go? One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? I thought I have a plus eight to hit with my. But that didn't say in that one. It does. You have a. Uh, you have two. You have two from your. Uh, from your. From your proficiency. You have four from your dex, and you have two from archery. I get what he's yeah. saying. Oh, say that one. Yeah, it's not right then. Hold on. Why is your Why are your macros weird? I do not know. Hold on. Hold one moment as we fix this conundrum. Uh. like that roll better so okay you have plus two from you have plus four from your decks you have plus two from your proficiency bonus and you have plus two from archery right right yeah then that's correct All oh, right, I don't like that noise. Let's try and get that away. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you uh, can disable the timer, that would be helpful. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that too. It's like... Uh, which one is that from? Uh, we can probably just work with it for now and then just yeah. get rid of it for next time. I'll find it. Uh, okay. Uh, you will miss with your light crossbow. <laughs> As it just whiffs across the as it whiffs across the hallway. And Agi can't make it in time. Do you want him to dash? Falcon? Oh, are you muted? Uh can you hear me? Yep. You want him to dash? Yeah, work was off. Oh my god. Uh So, I do not want Augie to dash. I want Augie to stay right where he is. Alrighty. That is the end of your He's turn. Going, yeah, he needs his axe into dodge. Okay. Takes the dodge action. Colin, your turn. I'm going to shoot at the one I can see. Okay. That will miss. And then I'm gonna move forward some. Alrighty. Now it's the Wave Strider's turn. He's gonna take a swipe at Farl. Miss. What a shocker. Another one's gonna come from around the corner and take a swipe. Miss. What a shocker. Korzu, it's your turn. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is this? What is this combat luck? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna fire at this guy. All right, roll the head. 
That's a miss. What was that? Okay. Um, is that the end of your turn? All right. That's the end of my turn. Let's move back there. All right. Top of the order. Carl. Here we go. All right. I'm going to move Wait, down, provoke Sebastian. an A up. Yeah, I was about to guy. say, where's Sebastian in oh, this? Oh, yeah. Oh, did you not roll initiative? Yeah. I think you said it was pitiful. I was about to say, it that could not have been worse than me. It doesn't show you on there. Let me. Yeah, I don't see it either. There you go. There we go. You're after. Uh, you can take your turn now. I'll give you an extra turn. Um, go over here. See what's going on inside. You, as you take a look, what's going on inside? Oh God, there's more fish people. They're disgusting. I see three. I'm going to cast. Casting Boomer Blade. I'll flick Rune Saber, and as it rings, it'll send like sound energy to this guy. Alrighty. And I cast Blind Sliver. Okay. Oof. Alrighty, he has to make a DC 13 intelligence save. Failure. Takes six Maximum points of damage. damage. Maximum damage. Um, does it say the D4? Well, it's after his uh, save. Yeah, it's the next saving throw. Yeah. Okay. And... Are you... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Um, and do you, do you still have Blade Song active or no? Um, it only lasts for a minute, so it's up to you. No, it would have been more than a minute. Uh, your um, armor armor class is 16 with uh, the mage armor, right? 15, 15. 15. Right. Wait, no, yeah, 16. You're right. Yeah, so 16. It's... it's 3 plus 13 plus 3, so yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You're up to 16. Well, I'll tear go. All right, I'm going to move down, provoking an A up from the top wave strider. Oh, that'll hit for nine points of damage. All right. All righty. Uh, I'm going to move towards the cleric and provoke another A up. Okay. He misses. All right. Then I'm going to swing at the cleric with my battle axe. All right. That will hit for nine points of damage. There we go. Now we're getting some good rolls. And finish it off with a second wind. Okay. You heal yourself for three. That is unfortunate. Let's get this over with. Okay. Next up is Sebastian. It's your turn again. Woo. 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 And yeah, the, the, the reason why it's not a clean number is to break speed ties. Um, for those we wondering. figured that out. Mm -hmm. I, for some reason, it says I'm out of spell slots. But I've only cast shield and mage armor. Because uh, you used spell slots in the last session. You guys didn't take a long rest. Yeah. Wait, didn't we do that thing rest. that gave us a long rest? Nope. You didn't do that. No. You didn't use it yet. <laughs> I think we decided to save it in case we fight like a big yeah. bad or something. Oh. Unfortunate. That's Thing. Like in the middle of a big boss battle, just break that. I guess I'll walk up to this guy. Okay. Slap him with my sword. Alrighty, roll a hit. The boomer blade. The boomer blade. Arcane warrior favorite. Arcane warrior's favorite spell. That will hit for eleven points of damage. And he will also take thunder damage if he moves. Will he be as dumb as the last one? Find out next time. <laughs> Lavalin. Uh, I hate missing. I'm going to move here and cast magic missiles on the, the, the tsunami cleric. Bop. Cast at level one. Bop. Okay, that's an, an additional d4 and then an additional d4. 
for a total of 15 points of damage. Oh my. Alrighty, good shit. Good shit. Uh, that will be it for him, though. Uh, wait, actually, is arcane recovery an action or a bonus action? You have to do yep, that uh, on a short rest. It's a short rest. Got it. Got it. Um, that is the end of his turn. It's the wave scout's turn. Another wave scout. Uh, this one is going to make a shot at Callan at disadvantage because of uh, Farrell. Right next to him. Does a 15 hit Callan? Uh, I think so. Yep, it's your armor class. Takes six points of damage. As a shot rings out from the darkness and cleaves you across the chest. Or punctures your chest. Uh, he's going to move here, provoking an attack of opportunity from you, Farrell. That will hit for 18 points of damage. That is some good damage. Now you get the dice on your side. And the Tsunami Cleric is going to cast Ray of Frost at you at disadvantage. Because this guy's annoying. Miss. Sab, it's your turn. Hey. No, I can see. <laughs> I take. Okay. Okay, what you doing, Seb? And I move through this guy. Mm-hmm. All right, that's an attack of opportunity from the guy up top. Actually, no, he used his attack of opportunity missing Feral, exactly. I think, right? Yeah, he, he hit did. me, but yeah. Yep. Okay. That's fine. What you doing, Seb? And I shoot. Then I shoot the cleric with my crossbow. All right, roll the hit. That will miss. Shot just whiffs forward. Augie's turn. What you want Augie to do? Augie does. He. It cannot see Augie. Yep. Just, just tell me what you want him to do. He's up to. The, he moves up to the cleric. I mean, not the cleric. The, this guy. Okay. He's going to bite him or claw him? Claws. Which one does the more damage? It doesn't matter. He misses, sadly. Alrighty. That is the end of your guys' turn. And no, He's just going to move here. Moves. And. Yeah. Where do you want him to move? All right, that's the end of your guys' turn. Callan, it's your go. Because he can't move. Uh, he cannot move here, no. If he were to move there, he would provoke an attack. Up. He would provoke an A up. All right, I'm going to bonus action Zephyr Strike, and then I won't take up opportunity, attacks of opportunity. Okay. And then I'm going to move. Oh, Lord, he's zooming. He's zooming. He doing the big zoom. It won't. He doing the big boy zoom. Alrighty, you move there. As you um, as as your form begins to blind and uh, to blur and shift in the darkness, you move forward through all this hogwin and move to a comfortable position. 
And I'm gonna shoot that guy. Alrighty, the wave scout. Roll the hit. Unfortunately, that will miss. Alright, and then I will uh, end my turn. Alright. Uh, you can give yourself advantage with your Zephyr Strike. No, not yet. Okay. Wave Strider. This one's going to do an attack at Sebastian. That will hit for nine points of damage. Oof. And this one is going to hit Saab. And miss. Corzu, your turn. I'm going to look at this guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast uh, Chill Touch. Alrighty. Oh, that'll hit for three points of damage. Sick. And that will... Yeah, that'll do it. Alrighty. And it is now top of the order. Farl, it's your turn. We're swinging. Oh, that'll hit for, for 13 points of damage as you cleave this hogwin in half. As it dies. Good hit. Right. Good hit. And we're action surging. All right. And and you miss with the second strike. All right, that'll be it. Okay. Sebastian, it's your turn. All right. Um, oh, what what kind of damage does he deal? Uh, him. Yeah. Slashing. So I get resistance, right? Yes. So that you're you're healed for five hit points. Woo. Woo. That actually that actually makes things a lot better for you. I keep forgetting that you're not afflicted by uh, slashing damage. Okay, mm. what you doing? Oh, you know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. That will hit for eleven points of damage. Good shit, good shit. As he falls over, you cleave him in half. As he's not feeling too well. I'll use press the digitation to clean the blood off my blade. Mm -hmm. Can't have that dirty shit on your blade. You clean it off. And I move. You're ready. You're readier than ever. Uh, and ends it turn. All right. Lavalin's turn. Oh lord, I hope I hit. I'm gonna cast Firebolt on the uh, the the bitch in the back. I miss. The Wave Scout. Uh, the Wave Scout is going to take an A op and move here. Get to attack, Farl. Bad hits for five points of damage. And he's going to shoot at Sabmud. Miss. Speaking of Sabmud, it's your turn. Your turn, bud. Sab? Muted. He's, he's been, I think he's been having some mic troubles. You there, Sab? Talking? Okay. Uh, we will... Hmm. We'll hold off on his turn. I think he's been having some internet problems. Callan, it's your turn. I'm going to take another shot on the scout. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Well, we'll do we'll do your turn after we do uh, Talon. being real good today. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice hit for eleven points of damage. As you as you hit him right clean through the head, he falls down, dead. Blah. All right, you moving? Moving, Callum? Uh, yes. 
Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, we will go back to sob mode real quick. You here still? Uh oh, is his internet no cutting out? No burst. All right, Falcon. One last try. All right, I will at least have Ogi do his claw attack. He will hit. So five points of damage. Sick. And I'll have Falcon do another rapier attack. Nice. Another five points of damage. We're whittling them down. Attrition fights. All right. Korzu, it's your turn. Oh. I will chill touch this guy ahead of me. Okay. Roll the hit. Unfortunate. As you go to hit, you completely whiff as it hits the back wall here. All right. Farl, it's your go. That will hit for 11 points of damage. Nice. Big boy damage. All right, that'll be it. And Sebastian, here you go. Gonna hit him with the good old boomer blade and... Ungod. Sadly, that misses. As you go to pierce him, oh my he God. ducks out of the way. <laughs> that was horrible. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'll just move down. Oh, Lavalin finally hitting with the firebolt, dealing that's nine points of damage. That's what we like to see. As uh, the body of the uh, as the Sahagwin burns to a crisp, combat is over. Oh God, what is? We sandbagged the first three fights just to pop off in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Whew. That was a slog. Um. However, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. It happens. Yeah, it happens. Nothing you can do about it. However, I have good news, guys. As we as we end up the session, you guys make your way to this weird room with these weird green birthing sacks almost for the Sahagwin. Falcon, as a as a pretty good Sahagwin hunter, you would know that um these are where the baby Sahagwin are born. In these weird little hatcheries where Sahagwin have eggs and then they then they're birthed from those eggs a little bit later. This room is covered in all sorts of coral that you saw in the previous room as well. Um, but on top of that, more importantly, you guys level up to level three. Woo. Poggers. That's a poggers level for a poggers, lot of you. Poggers. Yeah, it is. All right. So I'm going to see if this still works the way it's supposed to. Does that work? Maybe. Let's see. Ooh, I get a new spell. Yeah, yeah I get, I get new witch. spells. I keep forgetting about my familiar. Okay, so that... Oh, yeah. That doesn't work. Okay, so what we're going to do for we this just... is... Um, hmm. If we you roll... just roll and ignore levels. Yeah. Um... I think that's what we're going to do. When you guys level up uh, and you roll your health, so just roll slash R and then your die plus your con mod. Um, for most of you, that's a plus three. And for some of you other people, that's plus two. Oh, let's go. Mm. That's what we're talking big. about. Good big tank damage. That is 36 health. Nice, 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 nice. All right, who wants to go next? Mm. Uh, wizards have... It's a D6, right? It's a D6. 
D, you have a D6 plus two. Two. And minimum five, right? Or minimum, because... Uh, if you roll lower than the minimum, I'll just make it base, uh, four. Plus five, because of, uh... Because of that. So... Three. Uh... Three. No, because you are from... You're from Hard Oak, which means you have an extra buff. Um... Yeah. That's why I said minimum five. Five. You have seven health. So you're at 22. The big boy, 22. Ouch. That hurt. Okay. Uh, Mums is... That is a... That's six plus two uh, plus one, so that's seven. You're up to twenty six, and I'm up to twenty eight. Ooh, tanky. Twenty six and yeah. twenty eight. Oh, I get second level spells, boy. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm twenty eight. How do you actually um, level up in your character sheet? Uh, so you want to, uh, good damage for Agi, or good, good rolls for Agi. Uh, that is, you go oh. over, you go over to the, um, Ooh. click your character sheet, and right next to where it says token, you see the three, the three little dots. You go to plutonium import, and then you go, once you open that up, uh, down by the import, you'll see, like, all the base stuff that you see on 5e tools. So, backgrounds, classes, subclasses, conditions, feats, all that yep. good stuff. Go over to classes, hit the two arrows, and go down the warrior and whichever warrior subclass you want to take. Okay. No, I, I meant like changing it from literally level two to level three, because it just says fighter two. That that's that's what you do. That's what you do. Because gotcha, when you when okay. you level up in that, that's when it uh that's when it does that. Um, nice star. You got a seven. Augie. Plus What's my Augie? con, so ten more total. You're at twenty nine. We got a beefy party here. Augie's at forty something, right? Mm-hmm. Augie is at uh he is at forty one hit points. Nine. He becomes a medium creature. Which means oh, you yes. which means you can now uh you can now ride him, I believe. Actually wait, no. Oh, you are small, yeah. So you can now yeah, ride him. And his Strength becomes 16. His con is now boosted to 16. And that's it. Pog. Since his con is being boosted on this, does that mean instead it's a 42? Uh, yep. Yeah, it gets boosted to 42. Beefy. Bear. Your bear can now take more hits and die. Pog. Okay. Uh, who needs to roll... Lavalin. Where did Lavalin go? Oh. Oh, Farrell's standing on I see. I will roll for him. Five? Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. That is six. So he has 18 health. The big boy, 18. Alrighty. And I think that's where we're going to have to end our session today. As you guys make your way to the Sahagwin Hatchery, you have cleared through the Sahagwin after two long fights that weren't too bad. And now you move on to the rest of the dungeon here as uh, you find out what mysteries lie ahead. I want to thank you guys to, for coming to the session. We're going to go find someone to raid, doing the, uh, the good old D&D &D stuff. Let me see. Where can we go? Excuse me. Hmm. Ooh, I like that. Okay. We're going to go raid this guy. Plot point 5e. Plot points 5e. Bop, bop. Alrighty. We're going to go see you guys this Sunday with session 10 of the Founding of Ironhole. 
going to be a pog time. And we're going to see you next Thursday for session five of the War of the Waves. We'll level up our characters off screen. You guys can tell me all the stuff you want and I'll do that real quick for you. For the rangers here, you have to give me your ranger archetypes. And for far, I need your fighters, fighter subclass archetype. And I believe everyone else, that's it. I just need level two spells from you guys. You're all healed to full. All your spell slots are full as you uh, as we have RK level ups here. But um, again, thank you so much to everyone. And we'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace.